This technical video explains the general construction and working of a suction and spill control fuel pump most commonly used in Salza and Watsila two-stroke engines. Let's take a front cross-sectional view of the pump for simple understanding. The pump comprises of a barrel which is a cylinder fixed in the pump body which also accommodates the plunger and it has a very high surface finishing. A plunger which reciprocates inside the barrel with minute clearance to push the fuel out of the pump. A spring in the plunger follower assembly to bring back the roller into the base circle of the cam once the lift is over. A suction wall which controls the flow of fuel into the pump and it is also responsible for beginning of the fuel delivery. A spill valve which controls the end of the fuel injection. A discharge valve from which the fuel is delivered to the fuel injector at high pressure. Valve springs in all the three valves for positive closing. Two push rods are installed in suction and spill valve for opening these valves. Two eccentric rocker arms which operates the push rod. The eccentric position can be changed to vary fuel delivery or end of the injection timing. A cam in the fuel pump camshaft which operates the reciprocating moment of the plunger through cam follower. Roller or cam follower which transmits the movement of cam to plunger. These are the different parts involved in the construction and operation of the fuel pump. During normal working condition, the fuel is delivered into the cylinder via discharge valve in fraction of a second. To understand this process, let's take a look at the system in slow and step by step motion. When the follower rolls on the base circle, the suction push rod lifts the suction valve and fuel goes inside the pump. With follower assembly moving up in the cam profile, the suction push rod moves down due to the position of eccentric which is in between the push rod and the plunger, leading to closing of suction valve. As the spill valve is already closed, the upward movement of the plunger results in delivery of fuel at high pressure into the engine cylinder just before the top dead center. The position of the spill eccentric is outside the push rod, hence during further movement of the cam, the spill push rod lifts and opens the spill valve, draining the fuel out of the pump which also cuts the fuel delivery. This is the general operation of the fuel pump and complete process is repeated every cam cycle.